Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today we are going to have a discussion on the topic of teaching assistance in detail. So let us come directly into the topic. So I'll be covering the first thing is the roles and responsibilities. So what is the roles and responsibilities of a teaching assistant? The teaching assistant roles and responsibilities uh, vary uh, from professor to professor. That is, uh, some professors might uh, ask you only to uh, provide lecture or only to correct the assignments or quizzes. Or some professors might also ask you to go in person to the lab and teach the students uh, 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 the lab content on that particular day. So basically, it depends on the professor to professor. And uh, so the roles and responsibilities of a TA include corrections of assignments and quizzes it includes uh, lecturing the students that is usually if there is any lab in that particular subject so you might have to uh, every week you will have to go to the lab and teach the students uh, uh, the manual uh, uh, on that particular day uh, the third thing would be uh, you will have to uh, uh, upload the content on the uh, uh, the portal wherein the students can access the contents. You might also have to create the content. It also depends on the professor. So sometimes uh, if there is any assignment or if there is any project work to be given, then uh, the professor might ask you to create any content and upload it into the portal or create a small session uh, with the students wherein uh, you will have to uh, explain the students on what the project is or what they are are supposed to do so these are the different roles and responsibilities also sometimes it also includes that you will have to take a zoom session uh, that is you will have to uh, meet the teams uh, meet the uh, teams of like the student teams uh, so that they complete all the uh, tasks and assignments uh, in the given time and you have given enough sufficient time to the students so that they can clarify their doubts uh, with you so this is regarding the uh, roles and responsibilities next coming to the topic is the resume so if you want to get selected uh, into uh, the teaching assistant, you must have a very good resume. That is, uh, uh, the professors will shortlist the different resumes and then conduct uh, the interviews. So make sure that you have a very good and updated resume. Now, what does a very good resume mean? Uh, please mention all uh, the course related work that you have done uh, while applying for the teaching assistant. For example, if you are applying for data structures uh, uh, subject uh, as a teaching assistant. So uh, if you have done any project or if you had uh, any course uh, in your bachelor's of engineering wherein you took this particular course and uh, you have excelled in this course so make sure that you mention this as well in the resume so whatever related to coursework mention that in the resume next is your work experience the work experience uh, generally matters uh, it's like 50 percent it matters and 50 percent it may not matter it again depends on the professor who's who will be uh, shortlisting the uh, resumes so Make sure your resume is updated. It has all your contact information, your email ID, your phone number, uh, and uh, it has your proper name. Um, and make sure that it is it is in a very good structure. So you can go through the Google and make sure that it is in the international format uh, uh, so that uh, it, is, is a, it is very good to view and it has all the contents uh, uh, related uh, to you and your work. So the next topic is the different questions uh, that will be asked while applying. So while applying for the teaching assistant, you a teaching assistant's position, you will be asked to answer several questions and update and upload your resume. So the several questions that uh, usually are asked are the first would be uh, if you have done any thesis work so uh, if you have done any final year project so mention that if the the, it, the questions might be on uh, whether are you are doing any current thesis so if you're doing any current thesis mention that the question might be also on any research paper that you have published or it may also include um, any other comments like you would uh, like to mention about yourself. So these are the uh, general questions that will be asked uh, uh, while applying for the position of teaching assistants. This also applies uh, for uh, the position of the corrector. So it will be the same format. Uh, the same uh, questions will be asked and you will have to upload the resume at the end. The next is 
you will have to have uh, basic details like once you are selected so you will have to have the basic details like the social insurance number and you will have to have a bank account in Canada now if you are applying from an international country and suppose you got selected and you there is a delay uh, in your travel that is you will not be able to uh, travel on time before the start of the uh, term then make sure that you mention this uh, condition to the professor so that the professor knows that you will not be reaching in time you will be reaching a week later or a month later and based on that professor will make a decision whether he has he or she has to give you the position of teaching assistance or not generally what happens is if you don't have a social insurance number and a bank account then uh, 90% of the time the teaching assistance position will not be given to you but then you can request your professor and the HR partner that please uh, I will be reaching on so and so date and it is like 10 or 20 days delayed uh, after the course terms begins but I will be reaching at 10 days or a month late but I will make sure that I'll give my 100% during the teaching assistant position but make sure that uh, you try to convince but again, I said the uh, percentage of success rates at this is just like 10%. So make sure that you are in Canada, uh, uh, in Canada before the course begins so that the professor, there is no limitations for your positions and the professor will give you a job. The next is who takes the interview. Uh, so once your, uh, once your resumes are shortlisted, then who takes your resume? Who takes your interview? Usually, the interview will be taken by the professor itself. If the professor is uh, is uh, uh, if the, uh, the professor itself, in the sense like the professor of the subject, uh, uh, the professor names will be mentioned um, while applying on the description. So the the person whose name is mentioned there, he or she will be taking the interview for you. So this is regarding who takes the interview. The next is the number of hours what are the number of hours that you will be given so the number of hours ranges between 65 hours to 130 hours to 150 hours and to 180 hours uh, sometimes generally it is 65 hours and 130 hours so this is 65 and 130 hours is for a span of four months so weekly it's around 10 to 12 hours or to 15 hours so this is the weekly thing but 65 hours or 130 hours. So 130 hours is for the span of four months. So one term is four months, so it will be span of four months. So divide it by four and again divide it by four. That is your weekly. So it is around 10 or 12 hours or maximum 15 hours per week. Next is how to apply. The main important question, how do we apply to the position of teaching assistants? So in order to apply for any position uh, at the university, the university itself will send you an email regarding, uh, the, uh, regarding the openings that are present at the faculty of engineering or faculty of uh, science or any other faculty. So you will be receiving an email from them and uh, once you receive the email from them make sure that you go and apply there will be a link given to the portal so this is common for all the universities in Canada so you will be receiving the email from the university once you receive an email from the university there will be a link go to the link click the link and then uh, you will be you will be asked several questions your personal details followed by several five or six different questions make sure you answer those questions and then you will have to upload your resume once you upload your resume, you will get a confirmation email that yes, you have finished applying for this position of teaching assistance. Now, you can apply for multiple subjects. Uh, you can apply uh, for character positions, for teaching assistance positions, for any positions that is available at the university. So this is the procedure to apply. Now, there is not no requirement to contact the professor directly uh, because the uh, the openings will directly be present on the portal and you will be receiving an email go to that email and apply directly no need to contact any professor for any positions next is can I apply by being 
in my country that is my international country so i have answered this uh, this is yes you can apply i mean of course you will be applying when you are in your country itself because you might not have come to canada uh, during your first term uh, uh, before like the term starts or uh, while applying because the positions usually open like two or three months before uh, the start of the first term so yes you can definitely apply from the country where you uh, from your origin country but again as i mentioned please make sure that you are in Canada before the course begins and you have your social insurance number and your bank account uh, uh, bank account uh, with you uh, before the course begins next is can I get the teaching assistance in my first term wow this is a very important question and the answer is yes you can get the teaching assistance position in your first term I have got uh, the teaching assistance position in my first term even you can get even like Make sure that uh, your resume is updated, you're confident enough, you know about the subject, uh, the questions asked in the interview will be very easy, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, and yeah, so this is all about it. You can definitely get the TA position in the first term. What's the pay scale? Uh, the pay scale is uh, quite uh, good when compared to the part-time job uh, that you do here. Uh, it, it's it's very good and uh, you can get uh, the pay scale for different universities on Google just type the pay scale for the teaching assistance for your university and uh, and yeah so you will get uh, the pay range for the teaching assistance or the corrector position next is um, what is asked in the interview so once the professor, uh, uh, once you get shortlisted, uh, you will be given uh, a slot wherein you will have to talk. Uh, you will have an interview with the professor. Now the interview will be um, uh, it will be on uh, Zoom. So uh, uh, the interview the, you will be getting a time and the interview will be on Zoom. Uh, so the interview will be taken by either the professor or the head of the department or any other person that the professor appoints usually it will be the professor itself uh, the interview questions that is asked is uh, first of all tell me about yourself uh, the professor will go through your resume um, also they might ask like why should uh, he or she hire for you uh, hire you for that position uh, make sure that you go and read the description of that subject correctly uh, so that you can you can prepare yourself before uh, beforehand like before the interview uh, so that you know each and everything about that subject at least not an each and everything but make sure that you know in and above uh, everything about the subject okay also i told you like uh, the description so you can find the description of the subject in uh, the uh, university portal go to the university portal go to the faculty of engineering or faculty of science type the subject name and then you will get uh, uh, you will uh, you will uh, type the subject and uh, you will get the details of that subject so go through that subject make sure uh, you know each and everything of your resume because your work experience if you have or if you don't have uh, uh, your uh, your strengths your weaknesses your skills um, your ability to teach um, and um, uh, your confidence so these are the most important things that will be uh, taken care of or that will be uh, seen when uh, you will be interviewed this is all about it uh, i have answered most of the questions um, if i have not answered any of the questions please 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 do uh, mention that in the comment section i will be happy to help you all uh, please also you can also contact me on linkedin and the instagram uh, i'll be mentioning my profiles uh, my profile links on the comment section and you will you can contact uh, contact me directly there um, apart from this i think i have covered most of the things again if i have not covered please ask me on the comment section and i'll be happy to help you all that's about it also, I'd like to thank each and everyone because I have uh, crossed 500 subscribers. I know it's a small number, but and then it, it motivates me to create more and more videos. Thank you so much for all your support. I hope you all get uh, TA in your respective departments and in your respective faculties. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.